Hello there, Ray here, and I came up with this crazy trick using camels, which lets you easily go through the bedrock ceiling in the nether dimension, and you can use the exact same device to go back down underneath of it, all while not having to break any bedrock or waste items like enderpearls. Adding this trick to my list of ways to get above the bedrock ceiling. Getting above the nether ceiling bedrock is really important for the job addition. I use this in a lot of my farms like my pigland gold and bartering farm. Plus, once you're up here, you can actually set another portal up here and link it up using this crazy trick I discovered, where once you have a portal on the top of the bedrock, as well as one that is at a similar Y level in the overworld, they will link up so you can actually go directly from the overworld straight to the top of the bedrock. I'll have my explanation video down below. And on top of the bedrock is by far the best way to travel between locations, since you don't have to worry about mobs spawning up here, and you can easily place down portals far away, and use your elytra to fly between them. So first you want to come over here to the nether dimension, and then you want to dig your way up so you get up to the bedrock level in the ceiling. This starts at Y level 120. Now what you want to do is dig around until you find the subscribe button. And be sure to click it. Then continue flossing the blocks between the bedrock until you find an area that takes you all the way up to the very top layer. These aren't too hard to find and the way you know it's at the very top layer is if you look at it and if you look on the right hand side of your F3 screen in Java Edition it's going to say target block. And you want the second number to say 127. That means there's only one layer of bedrock between you and the top of the bedrock ceiling. And if we take a look at this in Spectator, you can see exactly what it looks like. It's very thin right there. Now what you need to do is actually get a, a baby camel up here. You can either do this by linking up another portal so that it connects with one that's in the overworld. So you can just breed up some camels and push the babies through. And if they link up properly, they should end up here. That can be difficult if you already have several nether portals in the area. Otherwise, just build a little staircase down to your original nether portal. And then bring the baby over here and then just grab it with a lead and pull on it and it should stand up and then follow you and then you could take it all the way up the staircase that you made. Now once you get up here you want to have it actually stand right underneath of the area which is where the bedrock is really thin. We're gonna go ahead and block this off and we'll push the camel right into there. But before we push the camel in, right underneath of the thin area, we're gonna place in a piston in the floor, and then we're gonna place a chain or similar block above it. Now we're gonna push our camel, and once on top, we can enclose this so it can't escape. Now from here, we can go ahead and remove the lead, and we're gonna use this piston to push it upwards. We wanna keep track of how many blocks you need to push it up before it actually reaches the very top. So after the chain, we're gonna place in some fences this will let us be able to push it upwards while still being able to see how close it is to the very top. We'll continue adding fences and pushing upwards until the camel is sitting at the exact layer just above it. So if we look with our telescope, we want it to be that layer with the bedrock there. But we only want to push it the very last spot when it's actually sitting down. So currently it's sitting down, which is perfect. So now we come in with our last block, we push it upwards. Now the camel should be in the exact same block as the bedrock there. And now when it stands up, it's actually going to suffocate. So what we're going to do is come in and we're actually going to feed the camel. So use a bunch of cactus and feed it up so it will grow up. The camel does have a decent amount of health. So you have a little time before it suffocates to death. And once grown up, it will no longer suffocate. So make sure you have at least three stacks of cactuses ready to feed it. So now when the camel grew up, you can see what it looks like now. It's stuck inside of the bedrock at the level of its feet. It's also stuck in bedrock at its chest point here. But at the head point, it's not actually in the bedrock and it doesn't suffocate. So now you can come in and build a little staircase so you can get a bit closer to the camel. And then come in and remove the chain or whatever block you have underneath of it. And this will be useful for later on. Now before we go and click on the camel, we want to make sure to bring along plenty of obsidian as well as flint and steel so we can make another portal once we get up there, just in case you can't get back down. And now, while being in survival, you can actually click on the camel's hitbox, and that will make you stand on top of it, which will put you immediately above the bedrock. Now if you shift, you are on top of the bedrock just like that. But you might notice that the camel does take damage every once in a while. This is because it's actually trying to sit down and it's sitting inside of this bedrock down here and suffocating, which will immediately make it stand up again. So we actually want the camel to always stand up. So to do this, we can just come in with two blocks and place a fence on top of it, then click on the camel with the lead and then just click on the fence. This will just raise it up slightly so it doesn't think it's actually sitting on the ground and it won't attempt to sit down and therefore it won't suffocate. Just make sure not to pull the camel too much because you can actually pull it right out of the bedrock Next, you can actually make it so you can also go up and down through the bedrock using a camel. First, place in some iron bars or panes around the edges of the camel. Make sure not to bump it, otherwise it will end up being off-centered. So once contained in the center of the block, you can go ahead and actually ride the camel 
And then when you dismount, it'll try to place you somewhere. And wherever it places you, just place in another iron bar. So now it placed me over here. And if you continue doing this, now when you get dismounted, you got to go underneath. And you can automate this process by using a gate on one of the sides. So notice right now I get placed over here inside of the gate. But if I go ahead and hop the camel and close the gate and then dismount, I'll end up underneath, which is amazing. Now tell your favorite Minecrafters about this and be sure to credit RaiseWorks. More crazy glitches in this playlist here or this one on how I'm designing a automatic farm for everything in the game of Minecraft. And join my Twitch live streams where I'm constantly discovering new things. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.